As promised, please give it up for Aaron and Mike. It's stained in the house. Gentlemen, now be nice. You're on Restaurant Manners right now, okay? I saw the network piece. Oh, uh, yes, yep, Restaurant Okay, there you go. I'm kidding. Uh, first of all, good to see you guys. This is kind of our first time really to sit down with you years. I met you guys uh, back in my radio days. At like a, one of those meet and greets, you know, the package thing where you stand yeah, in line. Yeah, we roll in for two seconds. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Here, and we're doing groups of four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know how it is. Yeah. So this is my first time. Don't to... look at me face the wall. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what's funny about that? Uh, one time I did one with Janet Jackson, and uh, they had us all lined up, and uh, it was like the, the rules were like, don't shake hands with her, don't look at her, don't start conversations, you're going to go, you take the picture, and then you move on. So, I had a few drinks, <laughs> and uh, so, uh, anybody have any questions? So I raised my hand and said, yes, I'm going to also say that Janet better not look at me in the eyes, better not <laughs> start, anyway, that went over, not good. Uh, brand new album, it's self-titled, it's stained, actually that was not the, the first uh, title that you were going to call it something else, weren't you? Like, Seven. Seven? It's still there. Okay, but. The, 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 the devil girl on the front of the cover has seven appendages okay so the seven seven reference is still there but we felt like just calling it stained was better cool why not seven exactly. albums why not? yeah why not why not i you know but it kind of blew me away I, I was like i was like i mean you know i've listened to you guys for years but it's like i can't believe this is the first time that they've actually had something that was just called stained i mean yeah. most bands that's like their first album or second at least nope. but i was like wow that's kind of a trip uh, you've, you've, I've seen interviews that you are an amazing, amazing cameraman. I just, I just gotta, gotta point that out. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, Bill. It's fine, dude. I don't care. <laughs> I've had a few already anyway. I'm gonna get dehydrated. <laughs> hey, uh, I'll fill you in on the, okay, you know how rock stars, when they cancel shows, the dehydration, like we were talking about AWOL Nation, uh, we're in Houston shooting today, and, uh, AWOL Nation's canceled their set today, and so Mike was My saying set. that the new... Rock star thing to say is when somebody didn't show up is like, were they sick, or is it dehydration? You know, when some guy's naked on a plane running up and down, they blame it on dehydration, <laughs> and two weeks later he ends up in rehab. <laughs> Kings of Leon for his dehydration. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, all right. So, but uh, you keep mentioning that. What is Kings of Leon? I've never heard of it. You didn't hear the story. What is King? What is that? What's the band? That's a band. Nice. Uh, is that really a band? Kings of Leon. I never heard of them. Any good? Really? Yeah. I, I actually, I used to like them. Really? Yeah, but no, they went crazy in Dallas. You oh, they hear did? About this? No, I have no idea. Yeah, they, they I walked, never even heard of the band. How I know, that's this? true. They walked off the stage. They any good? They used to be. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, they were dehydrated. Gotcha. Uh, Dehydration. You're funny. Um, all right. So, uh, but you said in an interview, Mike, and you said this. I that, did? Yeah, you did. You said that the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the album was a little bit harder and, and rougher and it kind of went back to some early sounds of the, of the, of the band is this are you sure you said that yeah, you i did. don't think i think you're putting words in my mouth no i, I think not. the interview's over it is not <laughs> talk to me um i mean look we tried to get back and make a more aggressive record kind of you know why we started the band that was the idea cool yeah. uh something yeah. that, no i mean but i mean you know it is it is yeah, is yeah. It, yeah it's fair to say right yeah, yeah absolutely. okay yeah. did uh i saw the documentary Mm-hmm. That looked like that was fun, fun wasn't it? it was a fun time. Yeah. Yeah. Did some of that emotion warm, warm and fuzzy moments. Yeah. And that's gonna make the Christmas video. Yeah, yeah. totally. It's like Bob Ross. But how did some of that, like some of the the, the energy and the emotion, there's energy definitely involved. Uh, kind of playing to. Some, it all went into the songs. Right. Yeah. Can we talk about that? Or? No, we just did. We just did. <laughs> Asshole. All right. <laughs> Did you uh, say that on this? Yeah, this we is, can. That's gonna box? be that's edited. Uh, this is this is the behind the scene. But I mean, it's 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 it's. Uh, but I mean, look, it, that was it, it was a very raw. Piece. It wasn't a fluff piece for no. sure. It wasn't done to make make everybody feel warm and fuzzy. It was done to show what happened in the process of writing this record and 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 in a and an honest depiction of it and actually really, I mean. Some of the worst stuff was wasn't even there. <laughs> you know, it was we had, I mean, there was some stuff that we you had to. There, cut it out, was you know edited, I mean? and but it was it still that ugly. Edited, so, many I times mean, edited, you know. But uh, but it was the reality of what it was. I mean, it was just that's the way things ended up turning out. You know, when we set out to start filming it, 
That was really kind idea. of the cookies and ice cream version of... Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. The first edit that I got of it, I think, took me three days to watch an hour. I could sit through, like, ten minutes, and I'd have to leave. And I'd come back, like, later. It would be sitting on the computer screen, and, like, I'd hit play for, like, three minutes. I'm like, I can't fucking sit through this thing. Yeah. I'd leave. It kept getting calls. What'd you think? I'm like, I can't get through it. I lived it. I don't want to watch it. Well, you know, and then there's a lot of kinds of stuff that, and this is something that obviously you guys are here and you're talking to us today. You know, it's like, is Stain breaking up? Is Stain, is this the end of Stained? I mean. But I mean, you know, the way that ended, I mean, that documentary ended, you know, in mid-May. The record hadn't been mixed. We literally had just handed it in. Um, the last things that we shot were right before the first gig we did together with a new drummer which I think is how it ends is we're walking to stage and that was you know what I mean so I mean at that time I mean I think there was everybody still kind of licking their wounds and you know pulling themselves together you know and uh, you know we're removed from that now and I mean things are you know we've moved forward and playing some gigs and you know doing all right I'm excited about that Aaron you also it's kind of an interesting thing when you're uh, releasing you know an album like this and then you go and, and do country which I did I, I kind of there were rumblings that you were working on this, uh, you know the, uh, the the town line album, which good job by the way. Thank you. Did you did you say what, what, what kind of like made you go? I think I'm gonna do a country album now. Or it's the first music I was ever exposed to as a kid, you know, um, and I felt like as a person, not necessarily this. This thing that the the fans see me as as the lead singer of Stained, as a person, you know, I, I live in a town of 1,200 people. I've got chickens and goats and, and a tractor and and you know a, a house pig, and and I, I'm I'm a little bit country. And I, I felt like that was the right fit, you know, if you. If you took the songs that I've brought to the table over the years that I wrote on my acoustic guitar and I'd have done those songs country, they would have sounded just like the record that I put out. Good point. You know, I, I didn't try to reinvent the wheel. I just put some different seasonings on it. Well, I think it's great because it kind of expands. I mean, for a lot of fans, it did like because and there people you know that people react and said, "Whoa, this is kind of a, a, a twist." And that's I'm kind of glad we're talking about this right now because for some people, I mean, it's kind of like what. You know, um, but I think it turned out it went. You're proud of it, and I, I, you did a good job on it. So that's cool. I, I mean, what's the name of the pig, by the way? Is the house pig? Willie. Willie, the house pig. <laughs> Willie. Yeah, he's a he's a miniature spotted Juliana pig. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Mike, what, what pets do you have? Uh, a couple of months. We just had to put a cat down this week, mm. which was like brutal. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. Uh, which actually kind of something that I want to bring up real quick. Uh, kudos to you, man, for everything you do with community type stuff. That's something I'm a huge uh, fan of just bands that actually give a crap and do things about it. I know you were active with something with your daughter at her school. You actually saved her school. Yeah. No, I wasn't I wasn't successful at saving it, so when they closed it, I reopened it. Oh, they did close it. it. Yeah, they closed it, so I reopened it. Oh, okay. That's what you did. Mm. Cool for you, man. You know what? I, I'm very lucky to do what I do, and if it is something as easy as as playing a show here or playing a show there or or showing support here, it's pretty easy to to do things that can give back and make a difference in, in other people's lives. And and you know what I do has made such a difference in my life that. It seems only fitting to try to do that as often as I can for other people. You guys are on the road right now doing some dates. I know there's a tour that you have planned uh, in February, correct? Like the New Year? Soul back out, yeah. Yeah, it's shows the beginning the of the world tour. It sounds so big when you say it like that. <laughs> are you excited? I, I couldn't be happier to, to be finally playing Australia and New Zealand and and, and some of the places that are slated for us to play, we've never been there as a band before. Really? We've never, you know how all the bands, like, there's the, the old joke of, you've never heard of this band before, but they were big in Japan. Well, we've never even been to Japan. So, you know, go figure. Never been to Japan, 
Australia, New Zealand, really? South America, Mexico. Um, but yeah, any anywhere east of East Berlin. Never been any further than that. Russia, Poland. No, I, I I'm calling bullshit. Really? Call, call yeah. bullshit. It's the truth. I, I, That's I crazy wish, to think. That, I wish man. you could call bullshit. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Well, so we're on. hoping to get to all these places. Right on. Uh, you, you're playing. Uh, you just got something around the day after Thanksgiving. Something that's going on around your hometown. Big show. Or? Casino there, yeah. Yeah. Mohegan Sun filming a video. Okay. Yeah. And then what's what are your plans for the holidays? You get a little because this is it before you guys go out in February. No, we've got we have from, a few weeks from that yeah. show through to probably December fifteenth or sixteenth or something like that. We have a handful of radio Christmas festivals right. and, headline show and one-off headline yeah. show things. Awesome. Well, listen, it's great talking with you guys, catching up. Learned a lot today. I had no idea. I learned about dehydration. Right. And I know what I'm giving you for Christmas, Mike. That's the Kings of Leon CD. <laughs> anyway, there you That's go. That's really a band? Stop it. It is? <laughs> That's great. I, you know what? Of all the sound bites, <laughs> hey, here's our piece with Stain, Kings of Leon. There you go, Stain, guys. Uh, great album. Congratulations. Thank Killer you. tour. Have fun. And Thanks, pal. We're going to catch up again. Stop it. You're all right. That's it.